Hello, Jessica Frost Ballas here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm part of a YouTube hop celebrating the new Rainbow Dreams release from Honeybee Stamps. I'm sharing an easy shaped card using some of the new die sets, so let's get started. First I die cut the new Rainbow Builder A2 card base from white cardstock. I also lay the rainbow accents die over the rainbow and die cut out the stripes between the colors. And while I'm at it, I also die cut some of the clouds and suns from the Rainbow Builder A2 card base set. Next, I place my rainbow on a piece of scrap paper and tuck another piece of scrap paper under the arches, exposing only the top arch. I also cover the base of the rainbow with scrap paper. Then I use a blending brush to lightly apply saltwater taffy distress oxide ink over the first arch. Once I'm done, I tuck another part of the scrap paper under the next arch and blend it with scattered straw distress oxide ink. I repeat that blending process for each arch using cracked pistachio, salvaged patina, and shaded lilac distress oxide ink. Next, I die cut the same Rainbow Builder A2 card base from acetate and only keep the solid base. I use liquid glue to adhere it behind my rainbow to give the card a little additional stability. I set that aside to dry and then blend scattered straw distress oxide ink over the die cut sun. Once I'm done, I adhere that to the back of the rainbow card so it's not visible through the acetate. I also want to add a little sparkle, so I die cut one of the rainbow accent arches from gold glitter cardstock, and then I adhere that over the yellow arch. Off camera, I heat emboss a sentiment from Look for the Rainbow onto the clouds with gold embossing powder, and then adhere a few clouds onto the bottom of the rainbow. I repeat that on the other side with the gold embossed rainbow word as well. And that's it. You can find more information on the products I used in the hop in the YouTube description below or over on my blog. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel. If you do subscribe, make sure you click the bell so you're notified the next time I post. Here are a few more videos you might be interested in and until next time, have an amazing day and happy crafting. Bye.